Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Jones just going over how to use your online matrix calculator to help you do this assignment that we have here. Uh, so this one, you're trying to solve these fairly large systems uh, and they have three equations and three variables. Uh, it'd be kind of a lot of work to do by hand. So we're going to use this online matrix calculator to help you out. Um, so if you haven't opened it up yet, you should go to desmos.com slash matrix and it'll pull up something like this. So what you need to do is take your matrix and put it into the matrix calculator. And the way to do that is push new matrix here. And when you adjust our dimensions, this has three rows. One, uh, one two, three. Uh, so three rows, but it has four columns, X, Y, Z, and then the constants on the right. So I'm going to make it bigger. So now this is going to be the same size as this. And remember, when you put the numbers into your matrix here, you're going to put in the coefficients of all of these numbers here. So this first one, negative x, well that's negative 1x. So we can put that in there. The next one's going to be negative 5, then negative 5, and 2. That's supposed to be a 2. Uh, and then you just keep going through. 4, negative 5, 4, 19. That's just from this row. 4, negative 5, 4, 19. And my last row is going to be 1, 5, negative 1, and negative 20. So now that I have all of that, and push enter, and now I have this matrix in the calculator. And now we need to tell the calculator to get this into the format we're looking for, which the left, which is the left three columns being an identity matrix. Uh, and the way to do that is by getting it into reduced row echelon form, which is this guy here, R R E F, reduced row echelon form. So I click that. And I have to tell it which matrix you want to do that to. And this is just our first matrix here, A. So I'm going to click on that. And you can push Enter. And it comes over here and it spits out your uh, matrix that you need. So it did all the row operations for you. We got 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 0, 0, 1. That's the identity matrix in the left three columns. And then the rightmost column tells you your X, Y, and Z. And it's actually just down the row. So the first row here, x equals negative 2. Next row is y equals negative 3. And the last row is going to be z equals 3. If you were to convert it back to a system, that's what it would say. And so you can write down on your paper, x is negative 2, y is negative 3, z is 3. Or you can write it out as just a point, negative 2, negative 3, 3. And uh, I did want to show you one other one. If you go to 7 on your paper, uh, when you try to put in this matrix, you might run into a little problem. So I'm going to clear out my old one. Uh, I'm going to come here to New Matrix. Click on New Matrix. It's three rows and four columns again. They're all this size. And I'm going to start putting in my coefficients. So I got 1x, negative 1y, that's negative 1y, negative 2z, and then negative 6. And my next one's 3x, 2y, and that's where the problem is. So right here, you may notice it's lacking the z. If there's no z, then it's really hard to find the coefficient. But luckily, if that z is not there, that's because it got times by 0. And so it's like 0 z. And so we're going to put our coefficient of 0 there for the z location, uh, which we can't see. And then you can continue on filling in the rest of it. You can put in negative 4 for x, 1 for y, negative 1, z, and then 12. And now you have your new matrix in. So if a variable is missing, you just need to go ahead and put it in as a 0 on your matrix. And then from there, you can do RREF of matrix A, and it will tell your answer. I'm going to make you do it and not show you the answer, because you need to practice. Enjoy.